Okay, so I am continuing to make things with paper clips or do things with paper clips. Uh, so this is the paper clip, and what I want to do is to use paper clips to make this bulb light up with this battery. Now, you may think that may be easy, and it isn't too terribly difficult, but it does require a little bit of thinking because if I want to make this light bulb light up, what I need to do is to have current come out of one end of the battery, go into one side of the bulb through the tiny little filament inside so that it glows and lights up and this is an incandescent bulb and then out this little tiny nub and then back here so there's there's several things to connect i'm going to do this the easiest way using one paper clip and then i'll use two paper clips now this paper clip is a bigger paper clip but importantly it does not have a rubber coating on it so you want to make sure you have a paper clip that does not have a rubber coating uh, if you do you can you can shave that off but this is steel and it is an electrical conductor, so that is an important part of the thing. Also, plastic paper clips wouldn't work. I'm not sure if that makes sense either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. I'm going to take the positive end of the D cell battery. You can do this with the C cell battery, a, a AA, a AAA. It should all work. Uh, but I'm going to touch the side of the bulb to that nub. And then I'm going to use a paper clip to run from here that to the nub into the negative. Now it is kind of difficult to do with one hand, like I said, but I'm going to do it anyway. And the nice thing about the paper clip is that you can bend it. So if I bend this and hold this like that, and then I can kind of bend that around like that. Now I can hold my light bulb right there and touch it. Now so you can't see it. If I hold it right here. This is difficult. It's not difficult and I actually let me try this. What if I put it right here? That's good. And then I put this right there, and then I touch this to the bottom. It didn't light up. There it goes. Light, not light. Light, not light. Okay, what if I want to do it a different way? Let's do it this way. Let's use two paper clips. I'm going to actually cheat and use a bit of electrical tape so I can hold my paper clips on there. So now, I'm going to take this paper clip right there. I'm going to take another paper clip right here. And I'm going to tape these together onto the battery. Like that. Now, if the two wires touch, then uh, you will have a short circuit and the battery, the wire will get hot. I mean, it won't get so super hot that you can't let go. But just let you know if it gets hot, let go of the wire. So you want this on here fairly tight so that things don't move around in there and let them touch. Let's move that over there. And that's the nice thing about this electric tape is that it's kind of elastic, right? So you can kind of stretch it. That's what I like about it. Okay, so now I have my two wires. I just need to touch one to one side of the bulb and one to the, the tip. So I'm going to do this. That's on the tip and that's on the side lights up there you go so you need a complete circuit in order for the bulb to light current has to come out of one end of the battery through the bottom through the filament back to the side and then back to the other end of the battery it doesn't matter which way you do it these kind of uh, light bulbs work either way and then I also have seen um, there you go I've also seen some people that will kind of wrap this around the side. You can do that too. If I do that, it makes it easier to hold. It's a nice thing about paper clips. I'm going to wrap that. There we go. So now I can rest that in there. And now I can hold the bottom. And it's not doing it because the, the, there we go, lights it up, lights it up. All right, there you go. That's another paperclip trick for you. Uh, I'm going to make another one. I'm going to keep making these because I'm going to see how many I can do for my own challenge.